I am going to show you the rest of the painting of the coon hound dog. Uh, if you missed it, I recorded the very first stages of this painting earlier in my last video. So be sure to take a look at that if you haven't seen it yet. Um, and then I just pick up where I left off for the rest of this painting in this video. And right here I'm just wetting the whole paper and I'm um, just showing how I um, work very loosely and very wet and wet um, for these first layers. I usually always put down a nice layer of wet, um, clear wet water, and then I work into that. And I like to do the eyes as early as possible in the painting because I just feel like it adds more interest to how it looks and it keeps me interested. So I just love doing the eyes and I don't like to have to wait to do them. So I usually do them pretty early on in the painting. So, and then I'm working on the nose. Um, noses are kind of like hands. They have a lot of little details. So you really have to look at the reference image a lot as you paint with the nose and get all the tones and all the different colors correct in the nose and then I'm just doing more background and um, working a lot of wet and wet um, for these dark areas around the eyes I moistened the paper first to keep it really soft so it wouldn't look too stilted you can see how um, all these layers are kind of blending in there are no hard edges in this stage of the painting and I'm keeping it really loose and soft especially around the eyes um, but I am maintaining those few hard edges uh, like the whites of the eyes and the glint in the eyes just to uh, keep some detail and keep some interest. Uh, for all these little spots in the dog I wet the paper first and then um, just used really uh, small bits of paint like um, I would say the consistency of mm, probably milk in my paintbrush to get all the light spots in this dog and just adding some more details here getting the paper just the right consistency to do little flecks in his fur here. You can see that I used paper towel to kind of sop up the water, the clear water, before I put the little flecks in because I didn't want it to be too wet, I didn't want it to be too dry, it has to be just right to get those flecks just right. And now I'm just putting little details in the eyes and I am working with more dry paper to get these tiny little details in the eyes. And then I'm using my oil painting brush to scrub out some of the details and you can see how I'm softening right here. I'm softening all those hard edges and here is the final result.